Hey guys, it's Papa and Star from this piece and welcome back to another video. Today is kind of random. I just was on the spur of things. I just went to an Asian food market because, okay, well, I guess I should, okay, let me restart that. So, this was a randomly decided video. I really respect and love Asian culture. A lot of Eastern cultures, actually, I really, really find, I find high interest in, and a lot of them are really, like, just I have a lot of respect for the way they view things, their outlook on life, in the general sense, right? Really wanting to delve more into their culture and just, like, learn about it. I don't have enough of time in my life to, like, practice some of their, you know, practices just because it's some, a lot of it is really patience-oriented, I've noticed. So, like, I don't have time for that, personally. <laughs> but um, I would love to delve into more of their, like, food and, like... And especially when I get older and have my own place, I would love to. Why is it going? Okay. <laughs> Cook more of their foods and cuisines and just, like, really understand them. You know what I mean? And, and, and the culture that is represented on the East. In the East. So, I just went to an Asian food market that was 30 minutes away from me, but it's near my other aunt's house who I'm visiting. So, I just wanted to show you guys some things I have planned for this week. My, um... I live with my aunt and uncle now, yeah, you know that. So like, I live with them and they're gonna be gone for a week, like almost like two weeks, basically, three weeks, basically. So I've bought some things that I'm going to try and cook and I'm going to record it and this is gonna be a video and I'm excited because I've been wanting to do like a cooking video, but like I'm really bad at cooking and like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm kind of just kind of mix things together and hope for the best. So like, the courses are going to be spring rolls or summer rolls or however I make them. I'm also going to make Chow mein. I don't know if this is the right noodles. Honestly, I don't know what I grabbed. I just kind of like grabbed things that look generically like they're supposed to look. Um, so this is gonna kind of be like two meals because I'm, I'm hoping not to use the whole thing because I only have my cousin with me and she's not a big fan of Asian food. So um, yeah. And then uh, I, I, I bought a lot of sauces. I bought this mayo, which is, which is apparently a really good mayo. Uh, chili garlic sauce, which some of you may know about because it's pretty popular. Hoisin sauce or hosen sauce. I don't really know, but I heard it's really good. Um, same thing with tamari or tamari. I'm so sorry if I'm butchering these names. I'm trying to learn. Um, soy sauce apparently is like really good soy sauce for sushi. Oyster sauce is a really hot like commodity I've noticed in like a lot of in, um, recipes that I want to make. Sriracha, this is just a refill girl. You know I got the sriracha always. Um, teriyaki sauce. Okay, so these sauces. Okay, and then I got duck sauce because I'm, you know, basic. But I also, um, okay, so I bought, okay, I bought a lot of sauces. Hold on. So I know how to make Korean fried chicken. I've made it before and it was delicious. And I made all of it like purely, like no sauces, like with the name on it. Like I just made it with my own seasonings and stuff, right? But because of time and money, I kind of just bought pre-made sauces and I'm just gonna fry up some chicken and throw these in it and maybe add my own little seasonings. So I have sweet and sour sauce for sweet and sour chicken, teriyaki sauce for teriyaki chicken. And I also have, I thought I had another sauce, but I don't see it. So maybe I don't. I have seaweed for sushi. I have these jajang noodles. I think that's how you pronounce it. Now, I don't think these are the right noodles for peanut noodles, um, but they look fun. <laughs> and they look similar in the picture and in the packaging, and I wanted to try them. So these are gonna be my peanut noodle one day. And it's so big that I can make multiple meals with this. So I'm excited. I bought my first on Sushi Ruler. It was very hard to find products in the store, I'm not gonna lie. Not just because I couldn't read a lot of the things, but also because it was kind of like, it felt random to me, but probably, like, this is probably normal for them. You know what You know what I mean? Like, in the culture, it's probably normal to have things organized as they did. This was in, like, the, the cutlery section. Like, not cutlery, it was in, like, the, um, like, where they sold, like, plates and stuff like that. Um, and, like, thinking about it, I would have thought they, this would have been sold in, like, the pots and pans section, because it's, like, where the uh, pots and pans where they had like bamboo steamers and stuff like that. So I thought maybe this would be there, but no, this wasn't like, anyway, it was hard for me to find this. And this isn't even one that I really wanted because it has holes in it, but it it, it it was all that I could find. So I bought it for my sushi roller. And then I bought two snacks for my cousins because I'm going there right now, the milk tins. I always love these. I don't actually know if these are Asian, but I really like them. So I got them. Is this product Indonesia? So I got something. 
And then these are really good. I actually have never had these, but I've heard they're really good. So I bought them for us to try together. So yeah, that's really all I bought. Um, so this video is going to be connected to the video where I actually make the food. Um, oh, and I brought, I don't know if I showed it. I bought rice vinegar for the rice, uh, the sushi rice, which is this. Okay. Um, so I don't, I think I'm just going to make one video for like all the meals that I make, right? Uh, I'm going to try my best to film like the best, most like best quality that I can because I don't really know how to do all that. Um, because like I said, I've never done a cooking thing, but I'm excited. I'm not making anything today or tomorrow. Maybe Sunday. I don't know. I'm kind of going to save the food for when my aunt and my uncle go out. That way, that's why I haven't bought any of like the like perishables. Like I haven't bought any like green onions, which I know I need. I haven't bought any um chicken or like raw fish because I don't need that right now because I'm not going to be making these for a few days. These are kind of the like items that I know will last a long time. So I bought them in advance. This is so fun. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm excited to go on this journey and learn a few new recipes. And I'm excited for you guys to come along with me. So uh, I will think the date that I do this. Hopefully I don't forget to do that. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. I come along with me. <laughs> this is going to be an adventure. <laughs> I'm probably just gonna do a voiceover, so like this yeah. is all. <laughs> Our main dish consists of spring rolls, sushi, <laughs> and then the. <laughs> bam, 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 bam. I can't freaking nori, bam, bam. William Sriracha hiding. All the goodness. We about to cook it up in here. So right now we're soaking. Yeah, so that's, done. that's so boiling still, right? No, no, I didn't. No, yeah, let it boil. Okay. Boiling. Oh. Getting on. with some soy sauce and we're gonna see what happens. Yeah, it's not going to look as nice because you don't have a lot of color. What did I do? Now on to the sushi. That's sashimi. This is sushi. Oh, wait, wait. Fire! Fire! Now, I have my cousins over to make sushi, and so we're gonna play some sushi games now. Cause, relatable. Today was kind of a rush process cause I'm really busy and I'm really hungry. So I just threw together a salad that I bought from Trader Joe's, the peanut um, dry noodle salad, it's really good. And then I still had some of my rice from leftover from sushi, so I threw some seasonings on there. Cooked up some of the leftover salmon and basically use the same type of seasoning as I did for the sushi when I cooked the salmon with for the spring roll, except I add a little bit of garlic and ginger in the actual cooking, like in the actual pan. Bon appetit. So my cousin and I and my cousin and I invited our other cousins over. We're taking a break from Asian food. We went to Italian for a change because Asian food's been going on this whole week here, at least for me. My cousin's been cooking Mediterranean. That spice it up. I think I'm, yeah. I'm gonna eat it. Instantly. With some pesto and sauce, and this is my other cousin's. So you're done with that looks really good, actually. Four kilos. Yeah.
I always forget to record when I cook because I always get home late and I'm always so busy. So right now I'm making stir fried lo mein with some carrots and some spinach because I didn't have green onion. I thought I did, but I did not. And I'm also making some sweet and sour chicken. It's, you know, absorbing all those good juices. I put sweet and sour sauce, a little bit of sesame oil. No, I didn't put sesame oil. I put, um, what did I put? I put this soy sauce, sweet and sour sauce. And a little bit of garlic, onion powder, and cornstarch. And for the lo mein, I did similar things. I had a little bit of moran, sesame oil, onion powder, white ground powder, all the goodness. I have to mix this though. Ow, it can't just sit there. The finished product doesn't look that cute. I always have a problem with chicken, okay? Always. But I like the little crispies. And I'm hoping it'll taste good. So, um, wish me luck with this. Okay, so my final review was actually, the lo mein was pretty good. It was pretty good. Obviously, I didn't freaking plate it well. Like, I'm hungry. I just got off of work. I have an assignment to do. Like, I have a busy life, okay? And I don't have time to make things look pretty. My food might not always look good, but it tastes fire. It wasn't as good as, you know, you can get, like, fast food, like, Chinese food or whatever, you know what I mean? It was a different way of seasoning the food too. Um, but it wasn't bad, like I would make it again and hopefully improving it better, but it was really good. And yeah, I really enjoyed it and it was a great experience. And I'm excited to have leftovers tomorrow because there's a lot left. <laughs> so that's today. And then this might be the last day because my family's coming back soon, but I might cook one more meal. I'm not sure which one yet, um, but if I do, I'll definitely let you guys know. Hey guys, so I know this is like a weird angle, but I was just about to head out for the day and I thought I would make an outro for this video because it has been in fruition for a while, like a week. Like I've been constantly making footage for it. Obviously it's something crazy. I mean, not obviously, I mean, it's me. So like obviously, but like also like obviously like it's something crazy because it's only been a week, but it, I hope you guys enjoy this video of me cooking Asian cuisine and learning how to cook Asian cuisine because honestly, that's what it really was. And this is like so bad. So enjoy the video and are you able to maybe learn something from me? I don't freaking know. I didn't make everything right. So like, don't take what I did for like for heart because you know your boy was a hot mess every time I made a meal, especially because I was always rushing. You know what I mean? But, there was one meal that I did make, teriyaki chicken, but it was just like the sweet and sour chicken that I made. I just used the sauce that I did not record because I had forgot I had made it with rice. So yeah. Oh no, I did I record that. No, I did. No, that was the salmon with the rice, but I did make teriyaki chicken. Um, and I only have a picture of it, so like I'll insert it now. And that's what it looked like. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I felt like I, was, I, had, I had to say something else, but I don't really remember. Maybe, if you like this type of content, I mean, obviously the recording was so shabby, um, so shabby, <laughs> so shabby, um, but maybe I could do it with, like, another culture and, like, cook, like, Italian food or, like, um, Indian food for a week. I've, I've actually never eaten Indian food. I heard it's really, really good. I want to expand my palate, but I never have, so I'm, like, down to start cooking, like, let me know. I could do a week of American food as well. Just like burgers and hot dogs. Like that's the only thing I can think. I hate hamburgers and hot dogs so much though. So like, that'd be the death of me. But like, I just love trying out new cultures, like things. So like, I'm always down to try new things. I will give you a wrap up of the week. That's what I was gonna do. The lo mein was my favorite. It was my favorite thing. I think it looked the best. It tasted the best. It wasn't amazing, but it like tasted the best out of everything that I made. The flavor was there. It tasted similar to lo mein and it was really easy to make and I actually made it twice already within the span of two, one week because I loved it so much and it was so easy to make. I literally just boiled noodles, threw it in a pan, fried it with some sauce and then it was done. And like, you can go as easy or as extravagant as you can. It's kind of like a ramen. Like you could buy the packet of ramen and just cook it and make put the seasoning in that's already come with it. Or you can like add eggs and all this stuff. And that's kind of how I felt with a lo mein. Like I could have just like, usually when I order lo mein, I just get ready lo mein anyway. But like if I wanted to, I could have made chicken and added in there or steak or whatnot. But I didn't and I made it simple with some spinach and carrots because that's all I freaking had because I thought I had green onion, but I didn't. It was still good at the end of the day. So I would say the worst one 
I think the spring roll, and it was fun to make with my cousin, but the spring roll just, I don't think we did it right. I want well, none of these, I don't think we did it right. <laughs> but the spring roll in particular, it just, the textures weren't there. The videos that I had watched never didn't mention steaming vegetables. My cousin had mentioned maybe steaming it would be better because it was a very textural, unpleasantry for me. It, it was an unpleasant textural, t like, sensation for me because I was biting it and the carrot was like stopping me from biting it. And so I had to bite harder and it was just like not cute. It was not it. Um, but the flavors were kind of there with like the sauces and stuff like that. And it was a nice, like, I guess healthy snack. Like it's considered healthy, I think. Um, I don't know, it doesn't matter, but it was okay. It wasn't horrible, but I'm railing now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you're, mm -hmm. thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, give your heads a pie, and I'll definitely see you guys next time. <laughs>